Welcome back to Infigam friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one Math Olympiad Diophantine equation for integer solutions. Equation is x cube plus 2 equal to y power 4 plus 1 over x cube plus 1. x, y belong to z. Denominator cannot be 0. So I will begin by writing x cannot be equal to negative 1. As x is non negative 1, so I can cross multiply x cube plus 2 times x cube plus 1 equal to y power 4 plus 1. Let's multiply. So I will write x power 6 plus 2x cube plus x cube plus 2 equal to y power 4 plus 1. I will take away 1 from both sides. Then I can write x power 6 plus 3x cube plus 1 equal to y power 4. Now one manipulation step will come. I will multiply this equation both sides with 4. See what it will generate. So I can multiply this 4x power 6 plus 12x cube plus 4 equal to 4y power 4. Again one thing we will do, we will add 5 to both sides. y5, now it will become 9. Now you can think about this is 2x cube whole square first term. Last term now it will become 3 square. Now central term if it is twice AB. So 2 times 2x cube times 3. Is it matching? 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12x cube. Yes. So left hand side now will become 1 perfect square. So it will become ultimately let me write 2x cube plus 3 whole square. And right hand side is 4y power 4 plus 5. Now I can consider this y power 4. 4y power 4. This is 2i square whole square. And I will take to the left hand side. Let us consider. I will write 2x cube plus 3 whole square. And 4y power 4. We can write 2y square whole square. And now only 5 will be left in the RHS. Now a square minus b square identity, it is there. So I will write a plus b. So let me write here a square minus b square equal to a plus b times a minus b. Let's apply this algebraic identity. This will become 2x cube plus 2y square plus 3. This is a plus b. a minus b. So I am writing in this order minus 2i square plus 3. RHS is 5. Now we need prime factorization of 5 as it is prime number. So because of we are having 5 prime number, I can consider 1 times 5 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5, negative 1 times negative 5 is 5, negative 5 times negative 1 is 5. So we will consider 4 set of system or 4 system of equations with respect to the values for the bracket 1 and bracket 2. Let us frame and name it A, B, C, D. And then we will solve it. Let us solve A first. So I will be writing A here, system of equations 2x cube plus 2y square plus 3 equal to 1. 2x cube minus 2y square plus 3 equal to 5. Let's add both the equations. So I will be getting 4x cube plus 6 equal to 6 or 4x cube equal to 0. 
So I can write from here x is equal to 0. Now I will put this x equal to 0 value in the first equation of this system. So I can write it as 2 0 cube plus 2 y square plus 3 or better is to write equal to minus 2. So this value is 0. 2 y square is equal to minus 2 y square is equal to negative 1 complex solution a square cannot be negative for real values so we will reject this system as it is generating complex solution hence it is rejected now let us consider system b system b was 2x cube plus 2y square plus 3 equal to 5. Both are still positive values. 2x cube minus 2y square plus 3 equal to 1. Let's add again. So I will be writing 4x cube plus 6 equal to 6. 4x cube equal to 0 x cube equal to 0. Now I will put this x equal to 0 value in equation 1 of this system here. So I will be writing 2 times 0 cube plus 2 y square plus 3 equal to 5. So 2 y square equal to 2 y square equal to 1 taking a square root both sides will have y equal to plus and minus 1. So our ultimate solution from this system of equations, these two equations, we are having integer solutions. Let me write here x, y. This value will be 0, comma plus minus 1. Let us consider system C. So I will write system C first equation 2x cube plus 2y square plus 3 now negative values minus 1 2x cube minus 2y square plus 3 equal to negative 5. Again I will add both the equations. So this term will be cancelled out 4x cube plus 6 equal to minus 6. Take away 6 from both sides. 4x cube equal to minus 12. Divide this equation by 4. x cube will be equal to minus 3. So x will be equal to minus cube root 3, which is non-integer value. So I will write it is non-integer. So we will reject this system for solutions rejected. Let us consider system D. I will write first equation 2x cube plus 2y square plus 3. This time this value will be minus 5 and 2x cube minus 2y square plus 3 equal to negative 1. Again we will add both the equations. So we can write for x cube plus 6 equal to negative 6. Take away 6 from both sides. 4x cube equal to minus 12. x cube will be e equal to minus 3. x equal to minus of cube root 3. Again, it is non-integer value of x. You can check also for y. So because of it is non-integer value, no need to check for y. So we have solved all the four system of equations. So ultimate solution from this Diophantine equation will be xy equal to 0, 1 and 0, negative 1. Let's verify. So I will put x equal to 0. So left hand side will become 0 plus 2 and y equal to suppose plus and minus 1 all together as it is having 
power 4. So whether you are taking y equal to plus 1 or minus 1, this value will be always plus 1 equal to plus 1 plus 1 over 0 plus 1. So 2 equal to 2 over 1, 2 equal to 2. That means both solutions are true and verified. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.